Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jimena Dora. Thank you for clicking to watch this video. If you are new, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, hi. So today we are going to be doing better habits in your 30s. I am in my 30s. I can't believe I'm saying that. Life is speeding through and the moment you hit your 30s, it's like either everything takes begins to take shape or nothing is taking shape at all. So I am going to guide us through 30 habits. Um, 30 habits through habits that you should really be firm upon in your 30s and um and the first thing that i have here which is very dear to my heart is spirituality you guys already can tell that i talk about spirituality a lot this is because we are all thriving you we are all trying to um get to that place you know in a good way not in a bad way so any little detail things that we need to improve in our lives um i feel like in your 30s you should be able to establish spiritually you should be able to know exactly like where you are at in terms of your spirituality because you don't know when god is going to call upon you you don't know when you're going to go back to your creator so there is no point holding like oh today i'm going to go to church tomorrow i'm going to go to masjid next tomorrow i'm going to recite the quran pick one thing and consistency is important like be consistent with your spirituality pick areas that you can keep improving on that can make you better because you're maturing some of us are already parents in our 30s some of us are seeking our potential wives potential mothers and you there are things that you have to leave behind for your children and that is really really important like for me i don't i, I don't subscribe to the fact that oh you wait for your child to grow up and decide what not what faith they want to be or how they want to practice their faith no i actually am heads on on teaching them because if my parents hadn't done that for me i wouldn't be here i am today i wouldn't have the knowledge that i have that i'm passing on to my children so very early on start i um I have already started even doing wasia with my with my children you know telling leaving them with values spiritual values that you know they can never depart from and so that is why i feel like spirituality at your in your 30s is very very important because a lot of things will begin to take form in your life a lot of things you will want to work on achieve goals you want to achieve so you want god on your side you really do want god on your side in your in, at all times but by the time in your in your 30s have some form of stability spiritually next item i have on my list is money habits so money habits is what are you how are you earning what are you saving you know it's not, it's not as if as it's coming it is going and it's not even going towards something good you should i'm not saying that i'm not going to say that you should be established in your 30s no like the people already say life begins at 40 right so but you want to save up for that 40 when you are when your money will be the one working for you now you are working for your money this is when you have the energy to endure to sacrifice to be able to give up certain things just because you need that financial security in the future um so have having better money habits is very very important are you investing what are you investing in if you're a muslim halal investment is very very important um real estate is one of the easiest halal investments you can go into land buying buy land sell it you know not in the cities no go to villages like all these there are villages that are farming um farm lands you know go there and buy lands you can buy lands go back to your village and buy lands and sell leave it for one year two years five years ten years before you know it it's it, it's becoming like there there's the value you know it's appreciating and thereon you can sell and make money out of that so that is a long-term investment gold investment you know buying jewelries if you have like five hundred thousand or if you have like 500,000 sitting somewhere or $1,000 or money sitting somewhere, instead of using that money to go buy clothes that does not have secondhand value, use it to buy gold. So make real grown-up investments, you know. Buying a car is not an investment. Buying the latest designers is not an investment because except you're going to buy a Birkin, you know, you're buying a Birkin bag, MS, buying some kind of luxury piece items that it is 
a time will come where there will be demand for it or people will pay anything to have it. That is when some certain um, luxury piece, you know, would be valuable. So think about, have better money habits in your 30s. Don't spend anyhow. Don't splurge anyhow. There, there will be time for that where splurging and, you know, spending on to like indulging in things that you desire not need um but you want it will make more sense to you than it will right now another habit that you should have in your 30s is meaningful friendship meaningful friendship is something i'm very very grateful for your cycle of influence is very very important because your net worth is your network your net worth is your network. Who do you know? How can they save the day for you? How do they contribute to your life? How do they add value to your life? You don't have to be friends with everybody. You don't have to know everybody. You are, you need people that will help you build you up, take you, go with you on a journey, on the journey that you are on. You know, whether it's self-discovery journey, financial um, security journey, career journey, whatever journey, spiritual journey, whatever journey you are on, you want the right kind of people around you to be able to follow you through this journey. You don't want people that will hold you back. You don't want people that will always, that are naysayers in your life. When you share something or you share your dreams with them, they start telling you, no, you cannot do it. You want people that are reasonably, reasonably supportive, that they will tell you that you can do it. I will support you. I will walk this walk with you i will go on this journey how can i help you not um somebody that you'll be like ah, i i want to but you know that it's going to cost a lot how can i come in what can i do these are the kind of questions you want to be hearing from the people you have around you not people that are going to be discouraging you and be telling you that you cannot do it you cannot do it and all that so meaningful friendship is very very important the next item i have is solitude I know this is weird and the reason why it would be so like who wants to be a loner i don't mean solitude in like staying away from the world you need your own time you need peace of mind and peace of mind should be something that you should actively pursue for yourself i pursue peace consciously now because and it doesn't make sense to people people think that i'm just staying away from them no i'm actually pursuing peace of mind because the more you talk the more you interact you it, it is hard for you to control what people will do to you so you don't want people to like try you or try your patience or make you do things that you don't want to do, get angry unnecessarily. So if you have a chance to always have your personal time, have your personal time, it gives you clarity. It gives your mind clarity. I know um, I'm not saying that stay away from the world and drive yourself into depression. No, it still boils down to like meaningful um, friendship. I, as an entrepreneur, in the time I don't have people working under me and I work for myself. I do everything myself. And imagine if every time, instead of focusing on my business, I am just everywhere. This friend is doing something. I'm here today. Be able to say no. Be able to say no and be able to just have your own peace. Look for Actively look for a way to have your own peace of mind is what I'm driving at. And the best part for me is exploring exploring your strengths, exploring your weaknesses, indulge in a, in a self-discovery process. I started my self-discovery journey very early on. I think I've mentioned that in this life, but it didn't make sense to me at all until act I actually turned 30. That is where it started making sense to me and I started understanding my own personality even better. And, you know, I stopped being afraid, you know, I was I, be, I I am more daring with how much I take on right now. If I don't want to take something, I'm getting like, I don't want it. You can't force me. And um, this is not just about the people I deal with, even with family and friends, setting boundaries while I explore other things like um, travel. I have said that once I'm 40, I'm going to travel the world, inshallah. So as, as I'm trying to gather the money for that journey, I'm going to 
focused on exploring the things that I can do, you know, exploring my strengths, exploring my weaknesses, ex opening my mind up is what I feel like we should be doing in our 30s. Let us not just enclose our minds and, you know, just be like, okay, I, 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 did not, I do notice a lot of things that once people hit their 30s, they feel like they are old. That is it. They are done. There is no life for them anymore. They are into, they automatically sign themselves into that old age thing. So, and you know, that is very restrictive when you just feel like that some things are not for you. Some things are too small, are too belittling for you. Some things, mm -mm, no, you don't want that kind of energy. You want real energy. You want to explode desires in your mind in your head and you know just find yourself differently you know so that is what these are the five habits i feel like you should we should all have in your 30s let me know what you think about this and let me know in the comment section what are those if you're in your 30s what habits have you formed over the years and how have they been impactful in your life and you know why just let's just have a chit chat about this in the comment section that will be it for this video please subscribe give this video a thumbs up and see you in my next video bye and stay blessed